Hi everyone, it's Tarnished Treasures and I have a thrift haul to share with you. Have you ever been thrifting and found something you were looking for? It has happened to me a few times, but in general, I just like to go. I don't expect anything. I just really enjoy browsing and letting my mind be creative. But this thrift trip, I found some things that I was looking for. I had mentioned in the beginning of my December vlogs that I wanted to switch up my decorating style a little bit and have more glass pieces to reflect the lights that I have in the house. And that was inspired by this Loving Brocante magazine. Specifically, this photo inspired me. I love the cut glass pieces, the nostalgic cookies and candy, the glow of that candle that almost makes it look like there might be a gold accent on the candle holder, but I don't think so. And how that candle is reflected into this pedestal with the dome. And I actually found something very similar. I found a bowl on a pedestal that had a nice scalloped edge and some grape leaves and vines etched into it. $10 at the Goodwill. I don't know why I didn't get it and I knew I would regret it so I might have to go back but I think it's because I found so many other glass pieces um, earlier at the first store. So let me share what I found and how I'll be using it. I'll share a few things that um, aren't the glass pieces first. I picked up this dish towel. It is brand new. You can always tell when the tags look like this. It was a dollar and everything at this charity store was 15% off. So it was only 85 cents. I'm going to wash it up and it's just a nice classic pattern. I also found these ribbons for 85 cents. They have wire in them, a little bit of olive green and a reddish orange. I just thought it would be nice to have, possibly to tie around something, and the price was so inexpensive. So I'm just gonna go back and forth between the two stores. It was a Goodwill, and then it was um, a charity thrift store. I found this ornament here, and it was $3 at the Goodwill. I'm giving something uh, similar to this to my daughter, so I thought this would be nice for my other child. I was walking over here, so I have to hide. This is the first piece that I saw when I walked into the charity shop. And because I've watched Lady Mary Beth, um, I feel like my eye is drawn to things that have this hatched pattern that you can find on Crate and Barrel glasses, but you can also find on Waterford. And I turned it over, it was marked $10, and I thought that was fine if this was Waterford, and it is. Um, it was all taped together, but I could see that there were no chips anywhere. And then later, um, as I was shopping, someone said that the whole store was 15% off. So that made this $8.50. And the little acid etching, can we catch it in the light? There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know how some people would ever see that. So as I said, this was all taped together and it looks like a hurricane style. Uh, candle holder. I think that because Waterford is thick enough, I should be able to put a real candle in there and not just a uh, battery powered one. So I'm going to light that up and make a cozy centerpiece right now. But I have this sitting on my second Goodwill find and this was about $6.50. So I left the Goodwill spending a little over $10 and I think I need to go back and get that scalloped bowl. So this is a tray and I have polished it up so it's actually nice and shiny. There is some wear to it, but it's older. And uh, I really liked the shape before I even noticed it had a monogram. I was just drawn to the shape. It looks like it says EMB. And I'm gonna turn this into my dining room centerpiece. And because it's all polished up, it should reflect some light as well. So I'm gonna put this Waterford votive holder on top and then start to put uh, my prayer cube and uh, salt and pepper shakers on there. So I think um, that's beeswax. A white candle I think would be nice as well. 
And it's really funny talking about finding something that you wanted or were looking for. Um, I was looking for things to create more sparkle, but I really love this design. And right before I went to the store, I was looking on Crate and Barrel's website and I was reminded of some glasses, like uh, drinkware, that have this pattern. And on Crate and Barrel, they call it Hatch because it's got hatch marks on it. And I think I have looked at those glasses on Crate and Barrel for probably about two years. So I'm, it's definitely something that's uh, catching my eye. Someone had asked what this was. It's a prayer cube. So the kids just roll it and then they can read the prayers on it when we eat. And yeah. this glass was 50 cents. Now it does have a chip, but I will say that when it was sitting on the shelf, it was the only one and I just kept looking at it and I really loved that shape. So when What's I- the chip? Yeah, isn't that a nice shape? I can't find the chip. Oh, you can't because I think someone's actually filed it down so it's not sharp. When I turned it over, I could see very easily there was a mark and it does say Baccarat France. Well, 50 cents, Baccarat France and a teeny tiny chip. I was gonna get it, especially because I love this shape. I had just watched the video that Selena did with her mother on, um, oh goodness, Vintage Bombshell, and they decorated glasses with jewelry, and I thought maybe that's what I could do, or maybe this could hold a little candle. When I checked out, the ladies thought it was such a nice shape too. They said, are you sure you couldn't find any more back there? <laughs> and I didn't, but I'm thinking it was probably donated because of the chip, and um, the people kept the rest in the set. This was 15 and it would have been 15% off. So around $13 or so. And it fit those requirements of the cut glass um, for things to sparkle. It has some metal and gold stand here. And this glass is extremely heavy. So I grabbed this piece and I could see um, beautiful glass ornaments in here, glass garland, and I might play around with putting my nativity scene in here. I might put some of my um, garlands in here and then rest the figures on top. So we'll see how that goes. If not, I think lights and ornaments is the way to go. I already cleaned this. Actually, everything's been washed up. And I'm gonna put some gold garland. I did silver on the tree this year, so I have gold that I haven't used, and since there's gold on the base, I think that'll work. And I might not even need to use this manger here. Now, because it's glass, it's brighter, I can see what's going on. I like these to the side, so I'm happy with that for now. And this larger Jesus is what actually came with the set. So I'll put that in there and then I can rest the angel. I could do a little poster putty too. Besides looking at the Crate and Barrel website at the Hatch Glasses, I also was looking on Pottery Barn and I kept seeing this champagne bucket, um, ice chiller, or whatever you want to call them in a brass or gold color and I was really drawn to that and look what I found. This one was at that thrift shop where everything was 15% off. When I saw it I couldn't believe my eyes and I really thought it would have been marked $20 but there was no price tag and when I took it up they said $5. So I got 15% off of $5. And I can see some type of flower like behind it how I have my amaryllis and paper whites or I could also see um, some type of rosemary or probably for in my case a preserved boxwood in there or some little Christmas tree and it's got hello just the right amount of patina and tarnish on it but it's in really great shape and on the bottom it says that it's made in italy hi and i have my friend here with me so for now i am just i mean it even looks like a trophy isn't it so cool so i'm not quite sure what i want to do if i want to plant in it or um, just think about it for a bit I told the ladies at the store that they were wonderful salespeople 
because when they were looking at this, they said, are you sure there aren't any more back there? And I looked and then I found this. And this wound up being $18. And it had me at the irregular thickness of the neck. You can see it's thin and thick. Also, it has this zipper cut detail. I cannot resist and someone told me that was called a zipper cut in the chat in the um, comments one time and it's got that cut glass cut crystal that star that's usually on the bottom and I just thought that this would definitely reflect the light that even looks like a snowflake it had um, a sticker on it that said circa 1910 and I think it was from an antique store. They wanted 65. I wound up getting it for 18. And I think I'll put that on the bar. I also think it could make a beautiful vase for flowers. I'm thinking right now though, maybe um, some type of velvet poinsettia would be really nice in there. Just one or two, just real simple. While I was shopping, I was making a pile of my things on the counter. And when I found this piece, I would not let it go. And I think this is an example of the new person who was pricing things because it was only $3. I just can't believe it. Normally, I think something like this would say 15 or 20. It's in such nice condition and it's got those engraved hatchings. I love decanters. I mean, it's just going to reflect and sparkle. It's got the uneven top with large included bubbles in there. Th these are flat, not round. And the bottom has this indent that goes up a fair amount in, like where a ponta would be, but it's very smooth and it goes up. And just the attention to detail on the edges, $3, I just can't believe it. And a beautiful stopper. So I washed it and that's just the water that needs to evaporate still. So I don't think that I'm going to do what I'm about to show you um, on this piece, but it would be perfect just because it's got this blank canvas. Um, this would be a nice piece to put one of those uh, black and white photos behind, like I had shared at Halloween. But in um, this issue, the January, February of Victoria Magazine, they have etched glass and that's my son under the table that's why we're shaking so here's this perfume bottle with a crown and a bow and side note i just love these flutes here how they have that hatch design with some gold so a decade ago at nordstrom they had someone there engraving um the perfume bottles and then they would rub gold or silver metallic uh, wax into it to really highlight it and i had two bottles done but there's some elaborate designs and I like this could be perfect to do something like that on. I would just be a little nervous. I guess I'd have to practice. Look at that jewelry casket with that gorgeous font. And we've all seen these on live sales and on eBay and putting that monogram on there just elevates it. Look at that little display. So I contacted the girl and I said, please let me know which tool that you use. And I am contemplating getting one. So thanks for watching, everyone. Um, I don't know if I have enough time to share where I put everything out, but you will definitely see it in upcoming videos. Have a good one. Bye.